Have you noticed how much of the world is covered in lawn? It looks pretty, but think how much time we spend mowing it and how much gas we burn. And lawns seem a little lifeless. I wonder what would happen if you didn't use any pesticides or fertilizers and just let your lawn be for a little while. When I tried that experiment, the next thing I knew, three dozen different kinds of flowers appeared out of what I had thought was a monoculture of boring grass. Mints, like this heel all, delicate bluets, lemon buttercups, lacy yarrow. It's true that most of the flowers were actually not native to the U.S. They were originally introduced from Europe and Asia. But that's okay. They added to the biodiversity of my backyard. And check out what I found visiting the flowers. Pearled crescent butterflies, bumblebees, hoverflies, crab spiders eating hoverflies. They, in turn, provided food for the pair of Phoebes that nested on our porch. The original inspiration for lawns came from the manicured estates of the French and British aristocracy, visible proof of their wealth and leisure. In America, the tidiness of your lawn is almost seen as a reflection of your moral character. What better way to demonstrate that than to share some of your lawn with other animals and plants?